Welcome to Drawing with Vince Mancuso. So today we're going to talk about highlights. But before we get into the specifics of understanding the highlight, just let's recap the whole idea of drawing the mannequin head based on uh, a sphere that we divide. We establish a y-axis that goes from top to bottom. From that, we create an ellipse that divides the sphere in half, and we project out to the z-axis. And at that point there, if we draw a vertical line parallel to the central uh, y-axis, we can establish the center line of the face, build out the, the brow, create the right angle for the nose, right angle, a uh, triangle for the nose, the barrel mouth, and then create the bottom two thirds of the jaw and the cheekbones accurately and consistently uh, as a foundation. Now, what I'm beginning to do here is I'm actually putting a uh, matrix wire frame, a grid uh, wire frame around the form of the mannequin head. This is very, very important idea for you to grasp, right, in terms of thinking in 3D. If I can apply a grid to the topography or the surface of the form, and create intersections, which become points or coordinates on the form, just like lines of longitude and latitude on a globe, then I can accurately identify those points in space. This becomes imperative, right? When I'm trying to establish the point of con, con for a light, okay, for a light ray that's coming from uh, a light source. This gives me the point where the form, right, makes first contact with the light rays that are coming from the light source. And that first point of contact is exactly where your highlights take place. The light disperses over the topography of the form from that point of contact. contact. I always get my words muddled. Contact. Okay? Now what do we know about a highlight? It's the most minimal form of light. Okay? So that once I start to determine where that contact is going to happen, the light hitting the surface of that form, I know that at that point, the highlight will be this bright burst, brighter than any other value in your drawing, okay? It will swell and be brightest at its center, and as it disperses away or over the rounded form or along an edge, it will feather uh, to uh, darkness and disappear into the shadow. So just by practicing, just by thinking in this kind of matrix grid, not, not grid, not the details, but the grid, the topography of a form, okay, I can start to imagine how light is going to react when it makes contact with that form. Now, this is not something that you have to draw every time that you're going to do a head. But you need to understand this thinking. And then when you do a quick silhouette, you know, just the outer contour of the form, you can actually project, your imagination can project onto the silhouette these lines of, of longitude and latitude so that you can establish coordinates and determine where your highlight is going to be relative to your light. Now I'm establishing a light source for the head on the left and a light source for the head on the right. Okay? And you can see by just taking my lines down from the, the, the light source, 
based on the angle of the light, I can actually determine where contact could theoretically take place. And now I know where I want to paint and draw my highlights. In this particular case, the highlights are white on black, so it's very, very high contrast. Um, I want you to notice how at the epicenter of the highlights, it is brightest, and then as it moves to its outer perimeters, it, it, it fades and transitions, it's, it blends into the darkness, okay? You must always remember that the highlight is always the brightest light form. It is the most minimal, but it is also the most bright, uh, brightest of all the other tonal values that go into uh, the rendering of a form. Right? It is brighter than the light, it is brighter than the dark, it is brighter than the coarse shadow, it is brighter than the cast shadow, it is brighter than the reflected light. It is the brightest light source on the form. Okay? And if we practice it in a high contrast way like this with the, with the white highlight on the black or, or a very high key versus a very dark key, we start to get familiar with its position and how it operates. Okay? This is project one. This is your first exercise. Draw as many heads as you can and connect the highlight with the high point on the form relative to the light position. Good luck.